<laughs> hey folks, it's Uncle Jimbo. I'm here in Madison, Friday before the Mighty Mill Blog Conference in DC, but my presence here should probably let you know I ain't gonna be there. Wish I could be there, ain't gonna be there. Got uh, important reasons for that, but uh, bottom line is, you folks enjoy yourself, make sure you have an epic pub crawl, something that I can at least be proud to have inaugurated. Now today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the ongoing quest by the Democrat leadership to end this war. Because if there's one thing the Democrats all can agree on, it's that they want to end the war. Maybe by redeploying the troops to Okinawa, or maybe just packing up and leaving the Iraqis to slaughter themselves, helped by the Iranians, Syrians, and oh, this group called Al-Qaeda. Yeah, you know, I hate to butt in on all of your political posturing and feeling each other's pain, but I have a news flash for all you folks who want to hit the off switch on this war and move on. You can't end a war. You either win it or you lose it. Movies end. Meetings end. Wars are won or lost. And the cost associated with that in the lives of our troops makes it a very vital distinction. So if you want to end this war, it's causing you so much angst and anguish then grow a pair and vote to rescind the president's authority to conduct it and cut off the funding and bring those troops home tomorrow. Because if you don't do that, you are effectively putting your political gains ahead of the lives of our troops. If you think the war is lost and we need to get out, then make it happen. If you're not going to do that, then shut the fuck up and stay out of the goddamn way. We're trying to end it too. We just want to win. <laughs>